in the Cubs sacks. I just wanted to say for those who realize that there's some athletes out there that are playing for their lives. They get a paycheck. When anyone says CS, that means Club Sox. Okay, let's say a gang of guys come upon you and if you're not for one or the other and you realize who they're for, when you say CS, that means Chicago Sox. If they're for the Sox or if they're for the Cubs, you go CS meaning Cubs for the Chicago Sox or Cub Sox. If they're for the Cubs, you might say uh, Cubs Sox or or you can say Chicago CC Chicago Cubs. Right. But the whole idea of this statement of explanation is don't be one or the other because you ever you ever bought baseball cards? Oh yeah. They always favor some ability on the part of each club. We got two teams. We're fortunate city, Chicago. We got National League Cubs, American League Sox. So if you accept that idea, you don't go against unless it's a personal, private, secret bet that you you give me a sandwich at lunch if my team wins, or if my team wins, I'll give you a soft drink at your lunch. You know, yeah. never like a serious argument where somebody's really, I'll give you, I bet a thousand dollars. You don't uh, want to get involved uh, with that. Because uh, it can be, you know, you are not liable to be doing, you're liable to get evicted. Well, we know, we know though, the Cubs are Chicago's root. True baseball True team. Baseball That's team right. Chicago, right. That's but right. See, they They're suddenly cubbies. got the Sox. They get, suddenly got an American League team because they wanted to compete with other people. They wanted to know how it is they were financing these budgets to maintain this or maintain that. And they had two teams. For instance, New York Mets and the New York Yankees. Right. They got two teams to finance all those people. Right. You know, in some way or another, to finance something bought in their world, whether it's electric bulbs for their street lights or cows' foods for the cows' milk to be made, or that's why they, you know, have two teams. So yeah. it should be, it should be appreciated. Cubs, National League, Sox, American League. Two baseball teams are representing one city. Right. It's one of those financial things. It's not. Uh, hatred against this club or that club. It's, that's like a kid thing. Uh, I have to tell you, G, honestly, I don't like them White Sox. Well, it's got something to do with the players or it's got something to do with the friend that's favoring them over the other team on the other side, the National League. Uh, Both teams, as I say, are representing Chicago. Yeah, but they, the Sox, don't they represent the bad part of Chicago? No. No, you don't think so? See, the thing is, the American League... Don't you remember when the fans ran out in the field and beat up, uh, what was his name, that, um, yes, the, the Royals' first base coach? That was the Sox, right? Yeah, remember the father and son, and then a yeah, couple... But wasn't, weren't they, wasn't there rumor that they were following that coach? They were what? Uh, they were from another country? No, they lived out here. They lived in they lived in the so suburbs. Why did they go against the coach? They say they knew something against him. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they studied just, some sports illustrated. I, I think typical Sox fan. I think that's uh, I think that's the way Sox fans work. Look at that Cubs fan who reached out and interrupted that game when the Cubs yeah. were about to make it. Oh, uh, you're talking about Bartman. Girl. Bartman? That young dude that reached out. He was just a fan. He well, just Bartman wanted. you're talking about yeah, in the blamed, playoffs. They blamed it on that, on that fan. That should have been repitched. That's repitched. Yeah, I don't figure. I'll, you know, I'll be honest. I don't blame Bartman on that one. He was he was just watching up at the ball. The ball was up above him. He right, didn't. right. He wasn't looking down. Yeah, exactly. Down exactly. Where Moises Alou. He was right. getting his, uh, getting yeah. his over there. That's it. Hmm. Yeah. Which part do you think's nicer? U.S. Scumula or Wrigley? What was that? Which field do you think's nicer, U.S. Scumula or Rig Wrigley? Yeah. A little bit more uh, unique. Yeah, it's nice. Box is small. You can right. tell. Have you ever been inside? Yeah, I've been in. I've been to both. I hate big. to say I've been to uh, yeah, that yeah, that garbage Wrigley dump. Wrigley is more unique as far as grass, weeds growing up. The history. Yeah, history. 
I think they were, I think we had a national team before before yes. the American team. Yep. See that that that's what I'm telling you. We have grown in baseball. Yeah. American League, National League. As I say, the what do you think about what do you think about Ozzy Guillen? Ozzy Guillen. Sox manager. Sox manager. Uh, yeah, I don't I, think too much I, I of him either. He's, he's he's an amateur as far as coaching is. Yeah. This is his first time around on coaching. Yeah. Before. He used to play for the White Sox. Then he spit on them. You can't be kidding. Yeah. No good that eyes again. Holy cow. I heard him talk the other day. He said we had a good game. We we came back. It was an interview mentioned to him. and I liked it where we came back. The team was encouraged. Southern, 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 Southern. He, he's got a sense of humor no. that, that losses. He's got a sense of humor. But he's not hitting on those guys like the New York Yankees were hitting on that guy. Right. For win after win after win after win. Oh yeah. So hey, yeah, um, here yeah, I'm gonna stop this one here, right? Is that good? Okay. You wanna yeah, do a Giovanni? Hey, hold on. You wanna do a Giovanni Henry report in life? And, uh, what? Uh, Giovanni Henry important life. Re reporting life. Reporting life. Okay, let me know when. Go ahead. Giovanni Henry reporting life. Somewhere in Bolingbroke. <laughs> yeah, I like that one, G. Right here, babe. So much. All right, hold up.